हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड थ्री वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड दो थ्री टर्म्स आर मीन मीडियन एंड मोड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द मीनिंग द फॉर्मूले एंड फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दीज टर्म्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द मीन फर्स्ट मीन इज सिंपली इन स्टैट मीन इज सिंपली the sum of observations divided by the total number of observations when we say observations we mean that the values which are appearing in the data for example this is a data and by observations we mean these values 5 8 10 12 22 the data values which are given they are called observations so mean is simply <coughs> mean is simply the sum of observations sum of observations divided by the total number of observations total number of observations for example for example let's find out the mean of this data so what is the sum of the values or observations sum of observations is simply 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 22 plus 6 plus 14 plus 3 okay so first we will find the sum of these which is 5 plus 8 is 13 plus 10 23 plus 12 35 plus 22 57 plus 6 63 plus 14 77 plus 3 so the sum is 80 the sum is simply 80 okay and how many observations are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there are eight observations so what is the mean mean is simply sum of observations which is 80 sum of observations which is 80 divided by the total number of observations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 which is 8 so mean is 10 okay this is how we can find the mean next important term is the median median is simply the value which is appearing at the middle position the middle most value that is called median only when the data values are arranged in ascending order okay median is the value in the middle when the data values when the data values are arranged in ascending order when the data values are arranged in ascending order now two cases arise in this if the number of data values are odd if first case is when when number of number of data values is odd if the number of data values are odd for example let's say that there are seven data values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so what is the value which is appearing at the middle most position and that value is this one if we leave three values from left side and three values from right side then this value which is the fourth value that is appearing at the middle position and whatever this value is this value will be the median of the data right so 7 is an odd number 
now suppose data values are 9 right so leave four values from left hand side and leave four values from right hand side so this value which is 1 2 3 4 5 fifth value that will be the median so if the if the number of data values that number is odd so there will be only one value at the middle position but if the number of when when number of data values when number of data values is even when number of data values is even so you cannot find a single value at the middle position for example let's say there are eight data values and eight is an even number one two three four five six seven three three seven eight now if you leave four values from left hand side and four values from right hand side then there is no value left in the middle position okay so what we can do if we leave three values from right hand side and we say that this is the middle value but that is not possible because at the right of at the left hand side of this value there are three values but on the right hand side there are four values so this value cannot be called as the mid value right so 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 what is the option then if we are leaving four values from this side and four from this side there is no value left in the middle and if we are leaving three values from this side so there are four values on this side so what we will do if the data values number of data values is even then what we do we leave equal number of values from both the side but if we do that there are two values which appear at the middle position so what we do to find the median in this case we take the mean of these two values got it okay so there is a formula let's say the number of data values is n for example n in this case is 8 so number of data values we take that as n so so in this case when the data values is odd then the median is then the median is what it is n plus 1 by 2th term n plus 1 by 2th term that will be the median for example when n, n was 7 so 7 plus 1 8 8 by 2 fourth term will be the median and it was the fourth term which was median right but when number of data values is even then median median is the mean of the average of the two values which are appearing for example let's again take eight values and the median was the average the mean of leave three from this side and leave three from this side mean of these two values and these values are fourth and fifth so we will say n is what n is eight eight divided by two is four and then plus one eight divided by two is four then four plus one is five then fourth and fifth value we have to take the fourth and fifth value and take the mean of those two values so we will say that median is the uh, mean of when the data values number of data values is even mean of n by 2th and n by 2 plus 1th values okay for example in this case we have to find the median of these numbers first we will arrange these numbers in ascending order these numbers are given in random order so we will arrange these numbers in ascending order starting with the lowest value which is 3 then it has 4 then it has 5 then it has 6 it also has 7 and 8 9 is not there 10 then 12 then 14 no 13 then 14 any value in 20s 22 
एनी वैल्यू इन ट्वेंटीज नो या ट्वेंटी थ्री एनी वैल्यू इन थर्टीज नो एनी वैल्यू इन फोर्टीज नो देन फिफ्टी फाइव एंड देन एटी सेवन ओके वी विल काउंट दीज वैल्यूज जस्ट टू मेक श्योर वी डिड नॉट लीव एनी वैल्यू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन ओके सो ऑल द वैल्यूज आर इंक्लूडेड बट नंबर ऑफ वैल्यूज इज फोर्टीन विच इज एन इवन नंबर सो वट इज द मीडियन 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 इवन नंबर है ना नंबर ऑफ वैल्यूज आर इवन सो मीडियन इज द मीन ऑफ एन प्लस टू एथ यानी के मीन ऑफ एन प्लस टू एथ एन इज फोर्टीन फोर्टीन बाई टू सेवन सेवेंथ एंड एन प्लस टू प्लस वन एथ विच मीन सेवेंथ एंड एट्थ टर्म ठीक मीडियन इज द मीन ऑफ द सेवेंथ एंड द एट्थ टर्म What is the seventh term? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth term is twelve. So ten plus twelve divided by two, twenty-two by two. So the median in this case is eleven, and eleven is not present in the data. So it is not necessary. The value of median should be a value in data also, right? So you have to keep that in mind. Okay. <clears throat> next is mode mode is mode is the most frequent value in the data most frequent most frequent value in the data which means the value whose frequency is maximum which is appearing the maximum number of times for example in this case mode is what <clears throat> there are so many values which are given in this data so we have to see which value is repeating the most number of times and if we see clearly then the value 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 this value 5 is appearing 6 times and no other value is appearing 6 or more than 6 times all the values are appearing less than 6 times so 5 is the most frequent value so the mode of this data the mode of this data is what 5 clear so mean is clear median is clear mode is clear so these three values are very important in the measurement of central tendency of a data now a very important relation between these three which is called the empirical formula in statistics and that is mode is equal to 3 times the median minus 2 times mean and this formula is called empirical formula and using this formula if two values are given we can find the third value in that data for example for example see this question given mean and mode of a data are 5.5 and 6 so mean is mean is 5.5 and mode mode is 6 okay we have to find the median so let us put these values in this formula so mode is what mode is 6 equal to 3 times the median 3 times 3 into median 3 times the median minus 2 times the mean and mean is 5.5 so 2 into 5.5 and this becomes 6 equal to 3 into let's take median as x okay now we will write median as x so 6 equal to 3 into x 6 equal to 3 into x minus 2 into 5.5 is 11 2 into 5.5 is 11 so 6 plus 11 is 
सो थ्री एक्स इक्वल टू सेवनटीन एक्स इक्वल टू सेवनटीन बाय थ्री विच इज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स बार सो दैट इज दैट विल बी द मीडियन ऑफ द डेटा सो हाउ दिस इज हाउ यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल नॉट बेस्ड ऑन दिस फॉर्मूला अ जनरल क्वेश्चन ऑन मीन द एवरेज ऑफ फाइव इंटीजर्स इज एटीन इट इज गिवेन दैट द एवरेज ऑफ फाइव इंटीजर्स इज एटीन इफ वन ऑफ द नंबर इज लेफ्ट आउट इफ वी लीव द वन नंबर देन द मीन इज सिक्सटीन फाइंड आउट द नंबर विच इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड ओके सो फाइव नंबर एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री प्लस x4 फोर प्लस एक्स फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव दिस इज द मीन ऑफ द फाइव नंबर एंड विच विच इज एटीन नाउ वट इज द सम ऑफ दीज फाइव नंबर देन एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्स फोर प्लस एक्स फाइव इज एटीन इंटू फाइव एटीन इंटू फाइव विच इज नाइनटी सो द सम ऑफ the five numbers was 90 if if one of the numbers is left out the mean is 16 suppose let's leave x5 right then again the mean is 16 and that mean is the mean of just four numbers which is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 divided by 4 is 16 so we can directly take this four on that side so 16 into 4 is 64 so sum of first four numbers sum of sum of first four numbers is 64 so what will be the last number sum of five numbers is simply 90 so if we put 64 in place of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 in place of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 let's put 64 so x5 will be 90 minus 64 right therefore x5 is 90 Minus sixty four, so this is twenty six. So value of the left out number, the number which was left to find the new mean, that number was twenty six, right? So this was the meaning of mean, median, and mode. I will meet you in next lecture. Till then, all the very best.